Could you get top this right now? Here we go. I didn't really have any apprehension about coming to work in a gay bar. However, I probably did have some ideas that are quite present still in heterosexual society, like if I'm gonna be in a gay bar, I'm gonna be hit on all the time by men and these kind of stupid things that then in reality don't happen. Obviously, you do get attention, but it's nothing to do with what people tend to believe. In. I didn't have really any preconceptions of working in a gay bar. I, have, I didn't have any similar experience before. I, I came from managing in a big company in restaurants and I don't know if it's because it's a gay bar or because it's a smaller company. Uh, it is a complete different world. Like, it, it feels like a big family. You know, I, I feel like I actually belong here. Like, even if, it's, if I'm a straight man in the, in the gay community, I, I do feel like I belong here way more than I belong in any other jobs I have in the past. You know, I, I feel like everybody cares about me and what I have to say. And, and about each other in, in, in general. I am mistaken for bisexual here probably on a daily basis, but ladies tend to tend to ask a lot. And when I tell them I'm straight, they, they always get very confused and they keep, are, are you sure you're not bisexual? Why are you working in a gay bar? Said, Why not? I get hit on like very regularly, but I don't think it's because it's me or because I'm straight, it's because it's a nightclub and everyone working in a nightclub gets attention. Like, People like paying you compliments, which is always appreciated. But actually trying to take me out on a date or something like that, it doesn't happen that often. But that's because of this bitch face I have. Had a couple of awkward situations, like nothing major really, because it's quite a friendly place and you know nothing really bad happens. However, I do remember this, this situation, like in my first few months here, uh, this beautiful lady came to the bar with, with her gay mate and they were in a night out, they approached me, they were talking to me and we were chatting for a bit and she asked me for my number. So I gave it to her, she was really beautiful. And we were texting for a few days. So when I asked her out, she she was hesitating a little and I was like, if you're not interested, just let me know. And then it turned out that she told me that in, he was actually the guy who he wanted the number, he really fancied me, and even if I was straight, he was hoping that maybe if I got to know him beforehand, I would change my mind. And I was like, <laughs> I just couldn't believe it. I learned my lesson though, I never had my number anymore. I wouldn't say exactly it was the funny situation because it's a fun place to work with. It is a nightclub, everybody's friendly, we have fun on a daily basis. Um, I would say every time we do photo shoots, it's always a very fun time. Like I, I, I get really involved. I don't always just manage the bar. I get involved in the advertising. I, I, I pose in my underwear for for the bar, and you know some people do find it very strange. I'm I'm straight, and I do that, but you know I feel comfortable with myself. I don't have anything to hide. Like why not? Could you get topless right now? Yeah.